hello hello everyone hello beautiful people welcome back to do night bite channel today i'll be showing you guys how i make this smoking jollof rice guys look at that smoking jollof rice look at that color just take a look at it guys this rice its smokiness is real and the color is vibrant but my camera cannot just do the justice guys so guys if you want to see how i achieve this smoky jollof rice guys follow along with me and i will show you how, how i make it happen Let's so guys, on a medium heat, I have my pot. I added my granite oil. You can use any granite oil of your choice. I added my diced onion. I use about a medium size of onions. You need to use a lot of onions in your jollof fries. It's really, really good. It makes it more tasty. So I added my bay leaf. I added my thyme. And I added my curry powder. And then you stir everything all together. Combine everything thoroughly. The reason why I'm adding all of my spices at the initial stage is just because i want all the spices to be infused into our oil as it had flavor to the jollof rice it goes along with, with the jollof rice so you stir very well guys and then the next thing is to add your tomato paste in here i have my tomato paste i usually put my tomato paste into a bowl i usually had a little bit of warm water and i stir it up together to make it smooth and a little bit liquid I don't like adding my tomato paste into my oil directly because it gets burnt fast and you need to fry it for a while you keep stirring so that it won't get burnt so that's why I usually come up with this method of adding water on a bowl before adding it into the hot oil so now the next thing is after frying you're gonna fry that for a while you're gonna get that sourness out and now I'm adding my dollar fries pepper mix and this jollof pepper mix is comprises of bell pepper, fresh tomato, onions, ginger and garlic, habanero, and I blend everything all the way. So that's that is what is um, included in this um, jollof rice pepper mix. Stir up together, let them fry until you can see that oil on top of it, as you can see in my video. So I'm going to go ahead to add my nut chicken maggi you can use any kind of maggi that you have or that you you want and then you stir everything together allow them marry each other very well guys so you stir it up stir it up and then the next thing we do is to add my stock so i have my meat stock that i already have and i bring it to boil before adding it and i go i'm gonna go ahead to add it into that um pepper mix that we have been frying and then you combine everything up together and yeah i'm not going to add any salt because of my stock water that i'm using so you can use any stock from the store or any stock that you have too guys so now i have my washed rice or it's been washed thoroughly and i added it to it stir it up all together very well and then you need a little bit of water when you're cooking your jollof rice you're just going to be adding as you go that's the trick because we don't want to have a saggy rice. So you allow your rice to cook. After about 12 minutes, you open it back up. And then now you flip from bottom to top. This step is very, very necessary, guys. Because you don't want to leave your rice to cook all the way without you flipping from bottom to top. So that your rice can get to cook evenly. So that's the main reason why you have to lift from bottom to top. We cover back up, allow you cook again for about 10 more minutes. I went back in again to check. And I also am going to lift from bottom to top. From bottom to top. Just the main reason for our rice to cook thoroughly and evenly. So I move from bottom to top. And I'm just going to go ahead to taste at this point. I want to taste for salt and my seasoning. Making sure everything is perfecto, you know. So if you need to add any more seasoning, you go ahead to add it at this point. I cover it up. And if you need to add more water too, at this point, you, go, you can go ahead to add more water. So at this point, I went back in to check on the status. And to the glory of God, our rice is coming out beautiful. So now this is the time to add your diced onions. I'm not a big fan of onion, but because I'm not the only one eating this rice. So I'm just going to add some onions. It's not going to hurt. 
So at this point, too, you can add your fresh diced tomatoes if you like some in your rice. I don't like it, so I'm not going to add any. So I just leave it up from bottom to top again. I cover it up this time around with aluminum foil. And I want this is the point whereby we need to get the smoke inside that jollof rice, that smokiness. This is the method that I use to get to achieve that. So you cover it up, you seal everything up tight. And then at this point, we're going to increase our heat. If you remember from the beginning, we are using a medium heat. But at this point, we need to increase that heat so that we can get that burn, that smokiness that we really desire. I cover it up and I allow it to heat up about five minutes. Went back in, open it back up, and then I'm going to go ahead to mix my onions now. I'll mix everything together. You know combine everything with my rice so i combine everything lifting everything up and moving it around and com combine everything pretty much and at this point this is my rice look at how beautiful colorful this rice is looking to the glory of god this rice is looking beautiful already just as be beautiful as i am guys so now i'm gonna you know cover it back up i just want a little bit of smoke I want to get more smoke into that rice. I cover it back up for about two minutes. And then my rice is really done at this point after two minutes. So guys, look at that rice. Look at the color. It's vibrant. It's looking good. Beautiful. So guys, today is your first time stopping by on my channel. My name is Layo. Layo Oladuni. My channel is about food. I talk about food. And I'll be bringing in more food recipe, healthy stuff. We feel good. We eat good on this channel, okay, guys? So share, like, subscribe, and turn on that notification button so that you'll be able to be notified with my upcoming videos. Bye for now, guys, and stay blessed. Bye.